how? Go play Dragon in the Dungeon or whatever the hell your kid game is. <laughs> I don't give a frick. Security plays that crap? You think people will listen to you? Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you for letting me know. I avoided a red flag. <laughs> Was a pleasure. Yeah, it's kind of impressive how somebody can write something so toxic with so little words. There's more emojis there than there are words. We've done the nice guys, now it's nice girl time. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing amazing, and I hope you're ready for some scary nice girls. This is gonna be a wild ride of a video, I already know it. Scary, but also fun. Thank you for all the support, and I hope you enjoy, guys. You know, I've always found you immensely physically attractive, but with your disability, it's like you're only half a man. I don't know, it sounds rude. You weigh almost 250 pounds. It's like you're actually two and a half women to me. I don't know. It sounds rude. You are the biggest freaking a-hole I have. And then it cuts off. Yeah, I told you it was going to be scary, didn't I guys? So I, 22 female, have been interested in this guy, 24 male for the longest time. Let's call him Frank. Frank and I work in the same field. He's known and recognized for his skills in the company. Frank knows his business and is well on his way to becoming CEO. Frank is funny, good looking, tall, kind, empathetic, resourceful and financially responsible. He has a nice house, a dog and his girlfriend is a literal model. Let's call Frank's girlfriend Mia. Mia is sweet, beautiful, tall, confident and she seems to be a very good girlfriend. But Mia has nothing in common with him. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Frank refers refuses to give me a chance and I don't understand why. I have so much in common with him, but he seems to be only interested in women that are models. I get him in ways that Mia can't, but Frank is so vapid, frankly, that he can't see that. Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, like as if you know everything about their relationship. Oh my god. <laughs> the audacity. As far as physical traits go, I weigh 115 pounds and I'm 5 foot 2, I'm a B cup and I have long dark hair. Personality wise I'm empathetic, shy, nice and very forgiving. Love just comes easy for girls like Mia. While I understand everyone has preferences I just thought that Frank was deeper than that. Wow, this is hilarious. This always seems to be the case with men. Oh god. <laughs> if it's always the case then the problem is you not everybody else. Men don't want women that are like them. Men want women that look like models and then will get mad when that girl cheats on them or leaves them for a man with more money. Why am I not good enough for Frank and why is it so hard for me to find a boyfriend? <laughs> I want to read the comments of that post so bad. <laughs> I'm not really sure where in so-and-so you're looking but my roommate is thinking of transferring to so-and-so so we're looking anywhere between here and here. I also have a little kitty named Trash. That might be a bit too far south for me. I was hoping to stay around so-and-so. Whatever, Biatch. Say that to begin with. And then they call them the F word. Ugh. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. I'm a big girl with a big heart and an even bigger personality. And big dreams. Sorry if that's too much for your narrow mind to handle. Oh, get out of here. Lol. Hello, how are you? Ah, uh, good. What's up? Not much. Doing homework. How about you? Nothing much. Just relaxing. Why'd you message me after so long? Nice. I don't get notifications of messages here. I'm in college doing 60 panels of a scene. Therefore, I'm busy at times and not always on or near my phone. Also, I don't feel entitled to answer every one single person on here. Especially 
probably since I've been ghosted so many times on this app. Plus, I've never met you or talked to you before, so I would appreciate it if you not question how long it takes <laughs> for someone to answer because people have their reasons or just simple as they're busy. Here's a tip for messaging and online dating. Don't ask girls or women why they take a long time to respond. It comes out as rude, especially since guys ghost us a lot on online dating apps. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Which is more rude. Just a heads up. And then it says something down the bottom, but I can't really read it. Everyone chooses who to so-and-so with or not with. It's not a right, it's a choice. Well, <laughs> all they said was, why did you message me after so long? It wasn't even rude. And then they're like, oh, especially because most guys ghost us on here. <laughs> You're pushing them away. What are you talking about? Are we on the Choosing Beggars subreddit? I just wanted to let you know that our date was the worst date I've been on ever. And I hope you die in a tragic car fire, loser. Oh, I'm really glad I dodged a bullet here. Best wishes. So what? You're not even going to apologize for the bad date? <laughs> or try to make things work? Oh my God, you're out of your mind. You're just an ugly bad person. I'm glad I won't have to deal with you again. Good luck being alone forever. Oh my God, how dare you say anything like that and call them a bad person? Wow, the lack of self-awareness <laughs> is unbelievable. I refuse to date a man that doesn't provide for me. Y'all can go to hell with all of that independent woman crap. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that one's just funny. They know what they want and they're not afraid to say it. Jerk, stop swiping right on me for not wanting me. You made a big mistake because I'm really nice and a good girl and probably cooler than those girls you're talking to. I also have more friends on Insta and I'm talking to a very hot, cool guy. Very rude to delete me and didn't give me a chance to respond. I think I remember this one. I was just going through crap, but I'm a cool person when I feel good. Yeah, that's not a good sign. And I do talk a lot when I know someone because I don't know you yet is why I don't talk much. But I do talk a lot to my close friends. Don't complain how you always get B arches that cheat on you when you rejected a good girl. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, wow. So many times on the nice guy subreddit, I've read stuff and I've thought, ah, do women do stuff like this as well? And they 100% do. The stuff that they say is almost identical. Steve Harvey was on it this morning. Shout out to all the females that feel the need to claim their man of so-and-so years as their husbands. Hubbies are etc. And let's not forget about the ones that cling to common law for dear life. Because that's all that a man of yours is giving. A man knows who he wants to share his life with. In a few months and not a few years, some of you have and are going on decades. Oh, and let's not forget you females out here that say engaged for years while he's working on it or himself. <laughs> what am I reading right now? Slash gets it together for you and the kids are five, ten years down the line. You're still engaged. Tragic. <laughs> if and when he does marry you, trust and believe he just settled for you and your dumb tail just did the same. Basically, you're the best it's gonna get for him at this point. So he's like, why not? A man who's serious will not risk all that time knowing there's other men waiting and willing to step up to the plate. Hashtag real talk. He can't wait to give you his last name so that you can truly become a part of him. Been wanting to say this for years. It's annoying and an insult to us real wives and husbands that put in the time, effort and requirements to be able to rock and claim these titles. Stay in your lanes. Hashtag mad. Got you sitting up in lay away. <laughs> Who are you really mad at? Enough is enough. Much love and respect to all my fellow wives. <laughs> I have no idea what I just read. This would never happen and y'all know why. Men are never told to give an ugly woman a chance because she's nice. 
guys. Oh my god, this is just like we're on the nice guys subreddit. It's the exact same thing. Wow. <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> so I'm funny, weird, cute, and adorable and all. Plus, I have a great personality. So why am I single? Oh my god, I'm glad you didn't forget about the dancing part. Being a good dancer is very important. If you're reading anything that starts with, I'm funny, weird, cute, and adorable, you know it's gonna be funny. If I throw a fit and tell you to freak off, please don't freak off, because I will be over it in like three minutes, okay? Hang in there, baby. Yeah, guys, I think I wanna read some wholesome memes. I'm gonna do extra wholesome memes today. Random kids playing at the park, their parents when something cute happens. <laughs> that face is so cute. <laughs> like, aww. <laughs> You're adorable, aren't ya? Girlfriend, I'll play that video game with you. Me? Wait a second, you will? My life is complete. Sometimes we hold back our tears so everybody can see how strong we are. But what if our feelings have the power to change things? Yeah, that's absolutely right. It's not good to hold those feelings in. Oh, wholesome memes with a message. I love it. I'm never lonely because I got these little guys with me. <laughs> I floaties. Oh my god, yeah. Little bits of nothing swimming in your eye juices. Gross, but kind of fascinating. When we grow up, have different lives, live in different places, I might not be there with you, but I will always be there for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I want to cry. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. The Nice Girl subreddit is so fun. I enjoy it every single time. And if you did as well, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought, guys. I love hearing from you guys in the comment section. And speaking of the comment section, today's comment of the day goes to Fern. Oh, how I love and hate this subreddit. <laughs> yeah, this comment could basically apply to every video I make. I know how you feel. I've got season 10 of The Simpsons on my computer right now, so I'm gonna go watch some. Thank you guys again for everything you do. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to keep up with my life, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But if not, I totally understand. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.